Hey everyone, just wanted to do a brief intro and to thank someone for buying me a coffee. Um, Siobhan bought me a coffee and said, happy belated birthday, sugar. You're the best. Thank you so much, Siobhan. I appreciate you thinking of me uh, for my birthday. I had a wonderful birthday. Thanks to all of you. And it was great to be able to spend time with uh, my friends uh, instead of spending it, you know, by yourself doing things you don't want to do. So don't mind the hair. This is how it goes. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoy this video I have coming up. This light is driving me crazy. Okay. This is a surprise unboxing. Uh, I had no idea what it was because it wasn't on the outside of the canvas, but I'm thrilled to be able to show you this kit that I ordered. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope everybody has just a fabulous, fabulous rest of your day. Bye guys. Hey everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Today we're having a mystery unboxing. I have no idea what this is. Um, this is how it came in like a white kind of trash bag. Um, it has some, looks like maybe Chinese or Japanese on here. It is from C&E. I'm hoping this is my custom that I ordered from Uniquely Yours Down Under, but again, not sure. So we're going to open it and find out what the heck it is. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing fabulous. It is hot here. Hot. Oh, well that didn't do anything. Okay, hold on. Let's see. No? Wait. Is it? Oh, I think it is. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is like the strangest bubble wrap I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen bubble wrap like this. It's like in long, can y'all see that? It's like just long bubble wrap. This is crazy. I'm pretty sure this is my uniquely ears down under. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Just ignore my nails. I haven't done my nails in a while because nails and working with wax don't mix well. Okay. Oh my gosh, it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, hold on. <gasps> I'm so excited. Okay. That is the canvas. Wait, what is this? Oh my gosh. An actual... What? That's a foam roller. I don't care about that. And that's your tool kit. Okay. Oh, that is like the weirdest, I mean, it's awesome. It's very, it protects it really well, but I've never seen bubble wrap like that. And then I've got a short foam roller in here. Um, what I'll use this for is I cut sections off of this and I put it in my, on the sides of my Harbor Freight. Actually, I cut it long ways and put it on the sides of my Harbor Freight container um, to keep the boxes from slipping. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Y'all just don't know. Y'all don't know. But look at this. I got a pen. Like, that's, it's like an acrylic pen. Wait, it comes with an angled tip? Wait, what? What? What is this? All right, hold on. I guess I can sit back down now. I was standing up. I know y'all want to see the canvas, but I'm, I'm, I'm a pen person, y'all. Pen. Pen. Look at that. Okay, so here's the pen itself. It's just like an acrylic, pretty blue pen. That's so nice. And then this is an angle tip. I've never used one of these. Can y'all see that? So the tip, it's like angled. Never used one of those. Okay. Yay. All right. I'll play with that later. All right. And then you get a... Whoa. Now keep in mind, this is the first time I've ordered from this company, Uniquely Yours Down Under. And the first time ordering from them, I ordered a custom. So, all right. Hold on. Look at these tweezers. These are cool. I don't have any angled tweezers. Look at that. I mean, they're definitely, they're, they're not good. They're cheapo tweezers, but they're angled. That's different. I don't have any of those. I don't think. Cool. And then you just get a basic white boat and some, um, pink wax, which is actually, it looks like it's a good wax because it's, it's nice and bright. It's good. For those of you that don't know, the paler the wax is, it's not going to be as good quality. You want the, the darker, vibrant pink wax. Okay. 
Oh boy. I don't even know how many colors this is. How many colors this is? Will it tell me? Okay, here it is. I'm just trying to get into this bag so I can get the inventory sheet out. Okay. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Where is... Oh my gosh. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place, but I need to look up the... Real quick. I just want to make sure I have... Okay, are y'all ready? This is an 80 by 60 centimeter round drill custom with 45 colors. Um, okay, you're not gonna be able to see. No, I'm just gonna show you the canvas because that, that's not a good enough representation. Hold on. Okay. Oh no, you taped it. Oh no. Why do you do this to me? <laughs> Crap. What did I just do with my scissors? Okay. Let's make sure we don't cut the canvas. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm nervous. Hold on. <gasps> Why do you tape this, Shug? All right, wait a minute. Okay, I got it. Okay. Whew. All right, I don't think I damaged anything else. All right, y'all ready for this? I hope that this is, oh my good. Okay, the glare, hold on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Y'all, the glare, you can't see this. Okay, this is from an artist that I have been fond of for a long time. Charles Van Den, I think it's Eichen, Eichen, E-Y-C-K-E-N. He was a Belgian uh, painter that specializes in pictures of dogs and cats. And he, um, he passed away, um, here we go, he passed away in December of 1923. So originally I had gotten this kit for the old masters event that is going on. And I know you guys can't see this very well because of the glare. Let me show you this image. Oh my gosh, I am so excited right now. So basically what it is, it is three cats. There's a cat down here too. And they are playing in a jewelry box. Two of them are in the jewelry box up here. And then one's down here playing with an actual piece of jewelry. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's just, this is very large. Okay. I might have to, the glare is just so bad. Um, let me see if I turn my light, overhead light on, if that's gonna help. Maybe a little bit so you can get more definition of it. Um, oh my goodness. So there's the cat on the bottom. There's a piece of jewelry. Wow. I, I was so nervous about this when I talked to Jennifer at Uniquely Years Down Under. I was like, I cannot get a really great image, um, like a high resolution image for you. And she said, send me what you've got. I sent her what I got and she was like, okay, she put it together, sent me what it would look like. She said, we can work with this. This, this is fabulous. This is actually like, wow. Just wow. I don't, I don't know what to say right now. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Uh, now, will I do this for the event going on right now? I don't know, probably not. Uh, Cause I'm still working on the Distracted by Diamonds one. But if they do this again next year, then of course, of course I would do it. Oh my gosh, all right, let's, um, let's zoom in and see 
we can look at the symbols. Let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, okay. There are going to be a lot of like browns and reds and creams. I'm looking to see symbols that are going to give me trouble. Wow. I'm looking. <laughs> this is so awesome. I'm so excited. I've been waiting and waiting on pins and needles about this one. Okay. Uh, and this is a poor glue canvas. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Very sticky. Um, oh, my gosh. Okay. Let's play it back off again. All right. Autofocus. This is just... Oh. Wow. All right, I'll put a picture of the original artwork up on the screen so you can so you can see it. Um, I'll put it up here now. Okay. Uh, but it's called The Jewel Box, like I said, by um, Charles uh, Vanden Eichen. And he's just, he's got so many awesome paintings of dogs and cats, but particularly the one with the cats just really, really, um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm calming down a little bit from my excitement, but anyway, so like I said, um, they created this into 45 different colors and, um, it is round drills. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at the drills. Why don't we do that? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay. I love them already. The drills are in baggies. Look at that. The drills are in baggies. Wee! I so appreciate that. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to take all these out. I normally don't do this, but I'm so excited. How many of you have ordered a custom from Uniquely Your Cylinder? Let me know. Or just a kit in general from Uniquely Your Cylinder. I mean, just look at that face. Look at that sweet face. Oh my gosh. So yeah, this is not going to be a bright, colorful diamond painting, but I knew that going into it because this is an older style, you know, European painting that isn't going to have, you know, most of the style that I've seen with this particular artist um, is a lot of reds and browns and whites and creams and you know, black and dark, darker colors. And that's, that's what a lot of the diamond paintings in this time period were. You didn't have like bright blazing colors because I think I could be wrong, but I just don't think they had all of the pigment options that we have now, of course, with all the synthetic made, um, synthetic made things. Okay, so these are all of the colors. Oh my goodness, look at that. And I've already talked to Adam. This one, there are very few diamond paintings that I am willing to hang up inside of the main areas of my house. In my craft room, I've got them up everywhere. Um, in our bedroom, I'll put whatever in there. But in the main areas, like the den, the dining room, you know, our sunroom, kitchen area, I'm very particular about what is going to go up there and I will only do like a landscape or something that's formal and that's just the way I was raised and it's it's the old school in me um, yeah 
So this is definitely one that will be done and framed. This one and uh, the governor's uh, party. That one is because it's um, artwork from, you know, based in Virginia, which is where I am. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. And I want to say I ordered this. When did I order this? I ordered this like the middle. Actually, no, I think it was the end of May. I ordered this and I got this last week. I think it was on like June 16th. It only took like three weeks, I think which is really, really not a long time uh, for one, for a custom, for two, this is coming from China. Like when you put your order in with um, Uniquely Ears Down Under, they, they have it made at their, at their plant in China and then have it shipped directly to you from there. So I'm impressed with the time frame of that. Oh my gosh, sorry, crinkle noise, crinkle noise. Okay, right, we're gonna put that to the side. I just can't get over this. Um, yeah, and again, let me just show it to you again. That is the image. It, it's almost got a, it's definitely, the original artwork was an oil painting, uh, but it almost has to me, almost a watercolor effect to it. A little bit of like smudging, which I like. I like that style. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So Jennifer with Uniquely Ears Down Under, thank you so much for working with me um, on this image. It's fabulous. Um, everything looks great so far. I'm not gonna know, of course, until I actually start working on this kit. Um, so this is just a first impression of uniquely or sound under as far as a custom goes but like I said I mean I did the sticky test here it's super sticky um, I don't see any problems with any of the symbols um, everything looks very clear to me um, I love the fact that you get a key code over here with your schematic on the right side as well as a key code down here on the left side. Um, it really helps me when I'm diamond painting, um, you know, both sides of the canvas. Up here in the top left corner, you have uniquely yours down under. Um, yeah, okay. Lighting. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is just so great. I never would have thought I could take an image that I'm so fond of and be able to make it into a diamond painting. So I want to thank Katie and Jessica, uh, Katie with Diamonds and Washi and Jessica from Tiny Worlds of Wonder for educating me on what you can do with um, a very old school piece of artwork. Uh, this is in the public domain because he did passed away in 1923. Um, so the rule of copyright is it is the artist's life, his lifespan, um, plus 70 years. That is the, the copyright law in the United States. So um, I was so thrilled that I was able to get this. But again, I want to thank, um, thank Katie and Jessica for just educating me on the fact that you can do this. I mean, how awesome is this? So instead of buying you know, stock diamond paintings all the time, you can take something that you really enjoy, uh, you know, as long as it's in the public domain, um, something that really interests you and that you are fond of, and you can make it into your own custom diamond painting and hang it in your house as a piece of artwork. So just amazing. Um, I'm just, I'm speechless. I'm so happy. Uh, and I have uh, ordered the actual, there is a print of this that I actually found on Etsy from a small business shop. I'm ordering the print of this so that I can have this to compare it to as well. 
Um, so I'm super excited and I will show that to you when I get that. So anyway, wanted to show this to you. Oh my gosh. And I can't, I just, I can't get it any further up to show you, unfortunately. I will take a picture of it and I will put it on Instagram. Um, but I do want to highlight the fact that I had a, a fabulous experience talking with Jennifer. She was very responsive. She emailed me back very quickly and, um, you know, the ball got rolling from there. Um, just wonderful customer service with her. So thank you so much, Jennifer. Um, I, I thoroughly enjoy talking to you about, about this diamond painting. So yay, my very first custom diamond painting, you guys. Very first ever. I was so intimidated about ordering a custom. It was like, where should I do it? Who do I trust? Um, and the one place I would have gotten it from, Treasure Studios Art, they temporarily have stopped doing customs because of how busy they were. Um, so yeah, I just, I had no idea. And the whole process was very overwhelming to me. It was like, okay, how am I going to know what it's really going to look like and that kind of thing. So um, this is fabulous. I'm, I'm over the moon. I know I keep saying that and I'm sorry. I'm being redundant at this point. Um, I have not measured it. Okay, let's measure it. It's supposed to be a 60 by 80. That was one thing I had not done. Okay, so let's see if my little thing will reach that far. Okay, so it's like half an inch short of 80. And it is pretty much spot on for 60. So true to size, true to size. Awesome. Um, and that means the actual drill field is that size, not the entire diamond painting. So that's, that's excellent. Excellent. Um, I do like the fact too, that all of the numbers over here on the key code, these are DMC or DMC numbers. DMC. Yay. 45 colors. That's good. I was hoping it wasn't going to be like, you know, 80 colors. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is just so great. I'm just, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. I know you guys can't see all of it again. Um, but like I said, that's the two cats in the, the jewelry box, the box up top. The top of the jewelry box is open and they're in it. And then you've got this cat down here. Oh, it's so hard to show you because of the glare. And you've got this cat down there playing with, it looks like a, probably a pocket watch. And then there's like a choker necklace over here. Wow. So amazing. So amazing. Yay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get out of here, but, uh, yeah. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns about ordering a custom, please feel free to put them down in the comments below. Um, I'll be happy to answer them to the best that I can. And if I can't, I will get the answer for you. Um, yes. So definitely check out uniquely yours and under, I will have a link to their website down below. I'm not going to be able to link this diamond painting because obviously it was a custom. Um, unless Jennifer chooses to put this on her site, which I, I don't think she would, but um, I will definitely have a link to their company down below. Uh, so if you're thinking of participating in the Masters event with um, Diamonds and Washi and Tiny Worlds of Wonder, please consider Uniquely Years Down Under for getting a custom. Um, I, I'm just, we <laughs> through the moon right now. Oh, okay. And those are all my drills in baggies. Love it. So I don't have to kit up. I can just go. I can just start this and go. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait. Okay. Anyway, uh, if you, if you like this video, please feel free to hit the like button on your way out. And I hope you subscribe and ring the bell. So you know, when I put up, uh, more videos like this, uh, but this was fun. This was a surprise unboxing for me. Um, so yeah, this was a lot of fun. Hope everybody has a fabulous, fabulous rest of your week and I will see you again really soon.